The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, guys, just a quick video of ICP here. As much as I love ICP, you can see this is a 2015 and I'm already here today to swap out the capacitor. Now I've had very good luck with these Mars capacitors, but the reason that we're here is because unfortunately Goodman and Carrier slash ICP come from the factory with Chinese capacitors. And you can see it's bulged up. These Chinese capacitors do not last very long. Obviously, 2015, we're in 2018. More than likely, this unit was installed in 16, even though it's got a 15 serial number. Or late 2015. The capacitor made it two and a half to three years. Now, I can't do it because I don't own the company, but I had got to the point to where when I was putting in ICP equipment, I would go ahead and yank these off at the install and install the Mars. Now, they do make American-made Mars capacitors, and that's usually what we carry. I don't know if this one's American-made or not. If it's not, it'll be Mexican-made, which is still better. I don't see a Made in Mexico sticker. I'm assuming this might be an American made Mars. No, right there, assembled in Mexico. Okay, well it's a Mexican capacitor, but it doesn't matter. I've, I've been putting the Mars on for years and I have not had any issues with them at all. This capacitor right here will last, I'm not saying it'll last 10 years, but it'll last more than two and a half to three for sure. So, the Chinese capacitors, if you own your own company and you install ICP Carrier, Bryant, Goodman, do yourself a favor and go ahead and rip that Chinese capacitor out and uh, go ahead and put you in a better one because, you know, this is warranty here. All right, guys, I just wanted to uh, shoot that. Y'all have a good day. Hey guys, I'm just sitting here checking out this little coarse air by rain. Nothing exciting, but I wanted to talk about the uh, whips here in Lafayette. I've had a lot of comments about the electrical whips out of that material right there. Guys, we don't... Okay, first of all, this, I've only seen this in Lafayette. In Alexandria, nobody used this outside. Every once in a while you'd see it, but not nearly like I see it here. I'm not even sure what this material is called, to be honest with you. I'm not, I really don't keep up with all that. The one we use, and I use, and that we use here that for the company that I work for, is the, uh, I think it's called liquid type, or sealed type, or liquid type, one or the other. We don't use this. We take these off, but for some reason in Lafayette, this is very, very popular. Um outside i don't know if it obviously it passes code a lot of people have commented and said that this is for indoor use it's not outdoor guys like i said we didn't install this unit the company that i work for we don't use this outside um i didn't use it back in alexandria when i worked for myself y'all seen my videos and we didn't see this in alexandria outside all the other guys would use the liquid type like i did but I don't know, it's very popular here in Lafayette outside. I don't know why, so I hope that helps answer your questions, but I mean, I just, I don't know why it's so popular outside here, but it, ever since I moved to Lafayette, I've seen it a lot. I just wanted to make that comment. Okay, guys, thank you.